This past Friday, representatives of Procter & Gamble and the Brothel Winter Classic Committee were on hand as P&G presented a check for $450,000 to the Brothel Winter Classic Committee to build the new P&G Pavilion at Rotary Park. P&G wraps up all production in 2020 and they wanted to leave a legacy in the city. The new pavilion meets those principles. We had a like, few principles that we need to make sure that the legacy project is meeting. One is it's really helping the, like, the community, the youth in their sp uh, sports and their activities. Uh, uh, it's really inclusive so everyone can participate in this. It's not like limited to a few individuals. And, um, and also equally important to be accomplished before we complete the shutdown of the site. So that, that project, as Mayor Jason mentioned, that really hit the, the three elements. Uh, for us, I mean, in PNG, we're, we feel very honorable, uh, honored actually to uh, really uh, uh, offer this contribution. Uh, it's not only just will help the community and Rockville City and the citizens for the future, but it also captures the 40 plus uh, uh, long-standing history of our company and our people contributing to the community. We're still in the middle of getting the, the tender bids in, uh, so it's fair to say it's a very significant portion of uh, the total budget. So, so the local plant contacted the city and asked us for uh, suggestions on projects that uh, we could use some assistance with. So we gave them a short list of projects and uh, this was the project that their uh, legacy campaign came up with as a final determination. It, um, it checked a lot of the boxes that Procter & Gamble wanted to, to do, uh, and so uh, the city was, was certainly pleased to, uh, for the uh, same reasons what Jeff has said, it takes a multi-year project and condenses it, so it's, uh, it's in fitting with, I think, Procter & Gamble's uh, core principles and uh, we're, we were very happy that uh, they chose to do a legacy project of any kind, but uh, certainly to do this one is, uh, it's going to complete the transformation of this park. The concept for the pavilion includes washrooms, a Zamboni room, and covered spectator picnic area. As well, the design incorporates elements of the former Trinity Church. The Winter Classic Committee was very happy with the donation and hoped to have the project completed this fall. For Hometown TV 12, Dale Elliott in Brockville.